Yo, what's up? This is your boy Postman, and you're tuned in to Post in the Diary Room. Welcome to Post in the Diary Room. And as you may know, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the Postman. And of course, if this is your very first time tuning in, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content, and most importantly, enjoy the review. Cosa Nostra, not to forget that this is the same man who named himself after Shu Converse, or formerly known as Converse, to being known as Uyisho. This guy has released a brand new single titled Give It To Me. Oyisha has had an insane run or rather a commendable run of singles and in that period came singles like Siberia, Potsoi and Bad Habits. He usually plays around with the music and sometimes he happens to lay his verses on songs that he likes because in recent times he he did a freestyle on movie again which is a song by touchline and ginger chill so he basically laid a verse out there and he was just having fun with the music the best way to describe Uyisho is is through his ability to have dominance on a song whether it's about the subject matter that he raps about his charisma and often his cadence because for me he's easily amongst the top names that come to mind when I'm asked about the Kosa rappers or the Kosa rap scene. Furthermore, Give It To Me, the song Give It To Me rather, sounds rather experimental for my liking, considering that this is a man that is singing on the song and he's usually rapping. And I would like to assume that this song Give It To Me is one for the ladies because he did say he's been talking to the niggas for a long time. Now it's time for the ladies to have some of his attention. It does look as if he's about to establish an R&B side of himself. But it's also worth noting that this is a very hip-hop influenced song because the beat and the texture of the song isn't really far off from what he usually does best. And for me, the overall song has a slow build-up and a sample where he talks about having the alcohol beverage in Verocia in his cup. He also channels an exotic or rather seductive tone I don't know, maybe he's just trying to appeal to the ladies that the song was made for. We get the general feeling that the thematic elements explored bring forth the idea that this song is about sex and alcohol. Uyisho also made use of auto-tune for his vocals on this one. And the song is relatively short compared to Bad Habits. And looking back into this whole song or into the make of this whole song, there's just one verse and a hook on both ends of the song and to my surprise he actually stuck to the topic and owned the experience of waiting for han who was late for a dinner all because of the fact that she was dealing with or doing her makeup because he made mention of maybelline took her time and maybelline if you are aware is obviously a makeup brand this is this is a great song for me it's up there amongst his top three singles of the year Mainly because the risk that he took with this one actually paid off. He seems to be positioning himself as someone with insane possibilities, if I'm making sense. Yeah, with insane possibilities. And hopefully he continues with this momentum because he built this momentum over the past couple of months. And he then comes out with the project. And musically, he sounds like he's in a really good space. And he's constantly looking to evolve. Post in the diary room, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content, and most importantly, I will see you on the next one.